Hello everyone, I am Douglas C. Welch. Welcome back to another episode of In the Garden for a Gardener's Notebook. For more information, you can always visit the website, douglasewelch.com. There you'll find links to a gardener's notebook as well as everything else that I do. Well, today we're out here doing an annual job and that is gonna be pruning up this wisteria. Now, this wisteria, um, it's basically a cover plant for us. It doesn't really get enough sun uh, during the year, but it does produce a nice amount of foliage to go over this big pergola here. Uh, but the one thing I need to do each year is I need to sort of prune it for control, if nothing else, just to keep it in line, uh, keep it out of the actual inside of the pergola and not wrapping around the trunks. And so what I usually do is I start at the ends of the branches and I pull just the weakest vines off, leaving one or two nice strong vines up top there to cover over and provide coverage for the pergola in the summer. Here you see one of our typical problems. Uh, the vines, when they're not grabbing onto the pergola, tend to grab onto themselves. They catch all sorts of leaf litter and uh, generally just turn into a mess. This one's actually fallen down inside the trellis. We actually want it kind of up there. So what I'm gonna do is I see there's this one nice big vine coming back to here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it all the way back, way back there, same thing with that one, and basically just peel everything from here over off of here. Now in some cases, because this is so intertwined, I'm gonna actually have to cut the main trimming out here first just to get it out of the way and then I can come back and kind of neaten things up and pull out the ones that I've cut off. Now the one issue here is I'm probably not pruning this at exactly the right time of year. Um, if you really are concerned about uh, blooms and everything else you do need to make sure you prune this at the right time of the year so that you're not cutting off the flower buds. Uh, this is not yet leafed. It is looking like it's starting to bud though, so I probably should have done it a little while ago. Again, because this one doesn't flower for us very regularly anyway due to lack of sunshine, I'm not that concerned about it. I'm mainly pruning for control. So I'm just going to continue through and then I'll show you a little bit of this when I'm done. So here you can see the uh, intertwined vines. They cling on to each other. They're trying to get a purchase to hold themselves up and so they tend to wind around each other. So that's a perfect example of the stuff that we're trying to remove here. You can also see I have a line of lights woven in there that I have to be a little bit careful if I don't cut through. Uh, I do like a little bit of uh, nighttime lighting underneath the pergola here for when we have guests over and just are sitting out in the garden. But uh, we'll continue on and just keep cleaning out the smallest vines here and leaving those nice big ones to support for the rest of the year. Here's another example of something I'm trying to clean up. I would prefer to keep the wisteria vines on the outside of these posts just to make any repairs to the post and clean up a little easier. Uh, we cut these vines back, oh, maybe eight years ago in order to have this pergola installed. And at that time, we figured out how much of a pain it is to have the vines going all the way around the post. So in this particular case, I'm gonna actually remove the vines that are twining around the post and keep only those that are on the outside just to keep maintenance easier in the future. Now here is one of the other problems with the um, wisteria too, is it's so vigorous it wants to reach out and use anything it can to climb up. And in this case, it's reached out to this tree. Well, I really don't want it on the tree. Uh, this tree is already too <laughs> dense as it is. I really don't want to add any more density to it. And the wisteria can also trap leaf litter and other stuff and can cause problems with the tree, such as rot and water, moisture being held within pockets and stuff like that. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to actually unwrap it from around this tree and get it back up on the trellis where it belongs. Now, wisteria is so vigorous, uh, you're not really going to tell it what to do, um, but you can kind of cajole it to go where you'd like it to go. And that's worked a little bit in the past. You may have seen as I was pruning here that I had some uh, um, twine wrapped around some of the vines I was cutting out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use some soft twine. We're not going to put it really tight. We're just going to kind of nudge the uh, vine against the post here of the pergola. And I'm actually going to put one more at the top here to bring these vines kind of over this way and up this way, just to kind of convince them, hey, maybe this is the way you'd like to grow. And there's what we took off the wisteria. And we can see up here, the pergola is all nicely cleaned off, everything retied up vines leading to various members of the pergola there and so hopefully we're all set for another growing year of this wisteria. It is pretty uh, strong vine so you do want to make sure that you neaten it up. You could also give it a pruning um, after it flowers in the middle of the summer uh, just to again keep it in check and give you a little less to do at the end of the year as you can see here just from the 
little bit of droppings that I've yet to clean up here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there was quite a bit of vigorous growth on this vine and it does take a little while to work through it. So after only about an hour's worth of work, we got everything cleaned up here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Join us again here on In the Garden for a Gardener's Notebook. I'm Douglas E. Welch. For more information, you can always visit the website, douglasewelch.com. There you'll find links to a gardener's notebook as well as everything else that I do, including technology, IQ, career opportunities, careers in new media, and more. Hope to see you again soon. Until next time, Keep on pruning and keep digging. <laughs>